personality becomes a threat to Satan. Satan doesn't want you to climb beyond your mortality. I don't want to live like a mortal man. <laughs> we take Jesus himself to come and comfort you for you to stand on your feet after a true encounter. I preach like this because I have seen in the spirit that God wants to use this nation. Yes, in our lifetime. In our lifetime. Not in the days of our children. We will accomplish in these lands things that, that could only be seen in dreams, could only be seen in visions. Mm. I say, COVID na humble. Sosiale Via Coria Baba Dantone, Samo Kia Prosketa, Ipo Manto, Obreske de Mohori, Obre Samilaita, Akana Mohore, Iscope Mabadia, Asketo Prendo, Compre His Kedia Matanda. because of the authority that God will invest on the spirits of men. South Africa was chosen as one of those platforms where the Lion of Judah will set his feet. I see a door opened in the spirit. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. And from this door that was opened, I saw 17 stars. 17 stars. When I made inquiries in the spirit, I found out that these 17 stars are a recent recruit of intercessors. The hand of God will come on these 17 stars. There are 17 people here. You will receive a touch, a touch of God. A touch, a touch of God will come upon you. A touch of fire, a touch of a flame, a touch of God. It will come upon your life. The Lord's hand is stretched from my left to the right to the back on the side. There are people that have been waiting for him. People that have been seeking his face. He comes to change your rank. There are 17 of them. Aseli Modokori Abraskitori Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Now, ushers, listen to me. As we go into this session 
the hand of God will come mightily and some of the people who will need to touch them we need to touch them so that the thing that God is doing will be consolidated the river is still flowing those those 17 individuals still flowing yes they are still being baptized into the anointing of that office the anointing of an intercessor 17 of you in fact the the, the grace is even increasing right now the uh, measure of grace the weight of grace is intensifying is intensifying it's building it's building stronger it's building strong thank you lord thank you father in the name of jesus listen listen yes so you'll find out for those people that the lord touched you will find out that it will be easy for you to spend time with god to be easy i i, I still see the flame the flames just came on somebody it just came on somebody this way and it came i just saw it you know <laughs> so there are two people in this auditorium the Lord will give you the gift of prophecy in the next 21 seconds two individuals in this auditorium he will give you the gift of prophecy in the next 21 seconds you will become a vessel that will carry his message. Will carry his message. The hand of the Lord is coming so strong on those two individuals. In 17 seconds. 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 Ushers, if you see any of them, bring. If you see any of them, bring. I just want to touch, I just want to touch. Just a little touch. Just a little touch. Just a touch. Just a touch. Just a touch. Huh. Let your ears in the spirit be open. Just a touch. Let your eyes in the spirit be open. Let your eyes in the spirit be open. Be open. Be open. Listen, 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 listen. In seven seconds, there is someone. I'm seeing the anointing of a seer. You'll be able to see. It's in seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's an impartation to increase your capacity. To increase your capacity i'm seeing one of the ministers here one of the ministers present here god is giving you a, a stronger anointing in the ministry of deliverance what will come upon you will feel like fire 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 fire like fire like fire like fire like fire like fire like fire holy ghost Receive the fire. You will have authority over devils. Devils in territories. Devils in men. Devils in places. Oh my God. I see the angel of the Lord. I see the angel rising. 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 Come in, I saw better. 
posketa ni kopeku. the person is here so if you think you are the one just stretch your hand in my direction the person I'm looking for is here in the next 21 seconds the fire of God will come upon you father show me that person show me that one 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 were given a crown in the spirit. Your authority, your authority has been increased. You will see it manifest in miracles, in signs, in wonders. The words of your mouth will come to pass. Grace is given to you. your moment. We come before your presence tonight and we ask that every door that has been sought by the enemy, let it be opened. Let it be opened. Is there any door sought against your life? Pray now and command it. Open. 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 Open, open. <laughs> Ask for Felipe Pendo Barakat. I'm so 
Samende Risco pela cusca ta banda conta Rama santa pa popo sel Tomorrow we'll do miracles, signs, wonders, and all of that. But today, today there is a reason. There's someone with an eye condition that God wants to heal. And the reason why God wants to heal you is because that's the only way He told me that I will identify you. The only way he told me that I will identify you is that he will heal your eyes. He will heal your eyes. And then I will know that it is you. Then I will prophesy. If you have any eye defects from short-sightedness to photophobia to cataract to glaucoma to astigmatism, Don't think you are the one. You don't even need to come. The one he is telling me about, he will heal the eyes by himself. Not because I want the person to be healed. He will heal. Why are you here? No, I didn't ask you to come out. If you follow the instruction, it means you are wise. Don't move from your seat. God doesn't have a distance problem. And don't put yourself in the prophecy. God knows the person. You remove, if you are wearing glasses, remove them. And uh, I didn't call him. Just follow the instruction. Lay your hands on your eyes. And I will know the one. Are your hands on your eyes? Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, this individual that you want me to meet tonight. I ask that you put your hand on the eyes. I bind every blinding spirit. Blinding spirit be bound. And come out of the eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I speak to the eyes. I see. I see. I see. See in Jesus name. Remove your hand from the eye. And then check it. You have two minutes to check. To confirm that there's a change on your eyes. When you have checked and you have confirmed that there's a change, you can leave your seat. Come here. Then you stand here. Check. Check your eyes. I have no power to heal anybody. The one that heals spoke to me. If you notice that your eyes are healed, leave your seat, come here. Then I will carry out the instruction that the Lord has led me to carry out. For men that are sent, you don't need to fake miracles. Because you are not the one that does it. All you do is to hear. This is his will. He wants to heal. So, you allow him, give him the opportunity. And it is not by shouting. No, power is not shouting. Were you sent? Were you, were you instructed? Tomorrow is the night for miracles, not today. So, if you notice that your eyes have... So, this is where to come. Come here. Don't block the road there. Don't block it. This is the place. Okay, you don't want to follow my instructions. So, you will go back. That's why I say we will stand. So go there. Don't come to the altar here and do what you want. No, I will not allow you. Not allow you. Listen, I see an angel of the Lord. And this angel is carrying a lamp. He's carrying a lamp. This lamp 
is a revelational gift in the dreams of the night. When you go to sleep, then you begin to see. In the next 12 seconds, the one for whom this angel brought this lamp will receive an anointing. In the next 12 seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So from tonight, your sleeps will no longer be ordinary. As you sleep, you will see the visions of God. Mm. 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 I see an angel flying over this congregation. God is changing the angel over this house, the spiritual angel that is working with your ministry, is changing it. Now, this I want to do something so that you will believe me that what I'm saying is true. If what I'm saying is true, that God is changing the angel over this ministry, I'm replacing it with another angelic support that will enhance your signs and wonders ministry. Now, the sign, this is me. This is not the Lord. This is me. I'm asking him for a sign. And the sign I asked him to convince you that I'm saying the truth. The hand of God will come on someone. Here. Then the hand of God will come on someone. Here. Then the hand of God will come on someone. Here. If what I said is true. So Lord, if what I told your servant is true, show me the sign. Let the anointing of your spirit come on the first row, the second row, the third row. And let this happen in the space of 21 seconds. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. That's one. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. That's two. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. So it is that angel that was dispatched from heaven to support your ministry, the new one that is doing this work. I'm seeing someone, you came here with a migraine. Like it is not actually a migraine. You are wearing a spiritual cap that was placed upon you. Check your head now, you will not feel the migraine again. Check it. Once you notice that you cannot feel the migraine, wave to me. Let me know you. See that man, he came here. Where he went to, these two people, huh? These are people. Someone, an unauthorized person, touched their head. So this one too is that that took it. Huh? You need the third one to be convinced. Okay. Okay, there is a, a lady that is in this auditorium. You are somewhere around this side. You have a pain that you normally feel below your abdomen. And it is very excruciating. Sometimes it's as if it, it wants to make you cripple. You want to make it so. Where is that lady? That lady you are here, like this. Raise your hand. Okay. That's your hand that is raised. Can you stretch it in my direction? Just stretch. Keep stretching. Keep stretching. Keep stretching. Keep stretching. Because the angel of the Lord will take away the arrow that was shot at you. Keep stretching. Keep stretching. Keep stretching. Keep stretching. Keep stretching. Now, so... I'm just trying to show you where you are now. That's what God sent me to bring you into your new rank. Yes. Yeah. I've seen the, the glory of your calling. I've seen it. You will function in this new rank. Come. You have you have served. You have served. You have served. Yourself. So, because you have said, because you have said, so now I ask, Lord, let the grace upon your servant in hearing and insight, in perception, in impression, in understanding, 
Let it be multiplied in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be multiplied in the name of Jesus. Let it be multiplied in the name of Jesus. Now, you see this lady here? There's one lady. I met you on the pulpit when I entered. You were singing. Where are you? There was a lady wearing white. Rise up. Let me see whether you, you are the one. Ah, you are the one. Come. There's something that is on your life that is resting on this. That's the first thing I saw when I sat down on this lady's life. Now, you, she can't resist it. She can't resist it. It is service. It is service that is bringing her back home. It is service. It is service. It is service. It is service. You know what the Lord is saying? He's saying, He's saying to somebody here. He said, You will mount up with wings like the eagles. So now that I've given you the message, the anointing that will make that person mount up will come upon the person in the next 12 seconds. Lord, that one that you said will mount up with wings, that is this way. Show me that person so that I can pray for him or pray for her. It's coming in 12 seconds. In 12 seconds. See, somebody else has tapped by faith. Bring the one. Bring that one. The one. Let it be stronger so that we will not be confused. Okay. Bring that person. Now, um, who is helping me? Where is the pastor that gave the offering charge? Come, look for a mic and in, interview these people. Let's be sure that they had an eye situation and they feel better before we start that assignment. Yes? Where is the usher? Bring that individual. You will mount up. You will go beyond the crisis. You will go beyond the delay. You go beyond that which evil men and women have desired for you. But the Lord has brought you here that he might raise you up beyond the situations, beyond the circumstances that you had to endure. Tonight is the night of your new season. And the things that were impossible with you before this time will become possible. The grace of God is poured upon you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. Come out and enter into destiny. Nothing can resist you anymore. Nothing. Weep not. Weep not. Weep not. Yes, what happened there? Is that your mic functioning? Ah. Uh, Apostle, according to this lady, she okay. came in here using glasses and now she can see without glasses. She can see without the glasses. Her sight was very badly impacted, now she can see. For how long were you using the glasses? From last year, March. For From last year, March. Last year, March, she's been using glasses. Is, is it because of short sightedness or? Yes, yeah, short sightedness. But you tried, you read, could you read? She can read. Can we give the Lord? Yes. Don't go. Stay. You see, the you know, Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, the Lord said the, the only way we know this person is that they will heal their eyes. Then. He will release upon you an anointing that will wipe away your tears. And if he's the one, 
without shouting, without effort. Then he begins to do it. Then he begins to multiply it. Then he begins to roll away the burdens. He takes away the yoke. Make her light. Light with joy. Light with gladness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes, what happened? This lady's eyes were very painful, but now they're no longer painful. She also had a little bit problem of short-sightedness. Her sight has also improved. Her sight has improved. Perfect her sight, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Perfect her sight. In the name of Jesus. You see, your healing is not complete, so he's completing it. It's completing it. It's completing it. So you have received the anointing. It will stay on you. It will stay. Glory to God. Yes? This gentleman's eyesight uh, was, was badly also impacted. He was very short sighted. He could not read or see anything from Do you afar. use glasses? No, I don't use it. You I don't use it. it by, faith. by faith, you have. <laughs> But have you noticed any improvement on your eyes? Yes, they are no longer heavy. Now, when I, I, I look at the distance, we used to be heavy. Oh, it used to be heavy, but now yeah. it's just clear. I, 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 I feel them. They are very light. I can see. Can we, can we celebrate Jesus? Yeah. Let that burden be lifted from your eyes. Yes? This lady is diabetic. She couldn't see the screens from afar. She but now she can screens. see. And now. she also uses glasses. Okay, you also use glasses. Yes. And you were able to see without them. Yes. Ma'am. Now, so I want to address your dad, the sugar and your blood. Lord, in the name of Jesus, can you help her balance the sugar? Balance the sugar. <laughs> Balance the sugar. This gentleman apostle was not able to see without using his glasses. He never took them out. For how but long now, have you been in that situation? You used the glasses? 2018. 28 years? 2018. 2018. Yeah. So that's how many years? Five years. Mm-hmm. Did you test it and you saw that? You can see. I can see. Can we celebrate Jesus? Just to ensure that it's permanent. Tomorrow is for miracles. If you have crippled people in town, bring them. People that have mental issues. We'll just pray and then... We'll try. Yes, what happened there? This gentleman apostle was astigmatic. He could not even see his phone. Couldn't see his phone. Mm. But now he can read through his phone. He can see from afar. Did you try? Did you try to read? Yes, yes. Can we, can we celebrate? Come. Now... Now, before I pray a final prayer, even though I didn't pray for people with deaf ears, there is someone that came into this place and one of your ears could not hear. In fact, when you take your phone and you want to take a call, you don't use that ear. You use the other one. But I see that you got healed while we prayed for people for eyes, even though we didn't pray for ears. So, old man or old woman, because I, I can't tell whether you are male or female. Check your ear now. Check it. Have someone speak into the ear that cannot hear. Have someone speak them. And if you notice that you can hear, you wave to me anywhere you are. Have someone speak into that ear that has lost hearing. Have someone speak into the ear that has lost hearing. Have someone speak into it. If you can hear from me, just wait. I have a message for you. 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 Your hearing has collapsed in that ear. You don't use it to take a call. But I saw that the hand of God came upon that ear. 
if you confirm it after the test you wave to me then I will tell you what I'm sent to tell you anywhere the person I don't know where the person is yes so for how long have you been in that condition the moment you finish the test you can do the test for as long as you want but if you finish and confirm you just wait wait to me um, it's actually been when I, when I was doing grade 8 but uh, I started putting on glasses since I got to the university you started putting on glasses since you got to the university did you run a good check on the eyes to know that you can see before you came on? Yes, I did check on my phone. I used to actually use Let me the, the small see phone. your glasses. Oh, there you left the glasses. Now, we're going to pray for him. I want to ask you a question. If you will let the Lord use you, don't answer in a hurry. Think. So what's your now, I want us to pray for him because I'm seeing him becoming a mighty instrument in the hand of God. Let us pray for him. Stretch your hand in this direction. And the Lord will use him to accomplish great things in this land and beyond. But he will not need those glasses again Talk to the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And I ask that you put your hand upon him. And let grace flow through his body. Make him your man. Use him. In Jesus' name. Amen. So let me pray for you before we leave. So that as you go home, you'll be having encounters in your sleep. Because the service has not ended. It will, it will continue in your sleep. It will continue in the night. Some of you will be woken up from your sleep to do some prayers because of some things that have opened up. Father, even though we will bring the service to a close at this time, I ask, oh God, that the encounters will continue. That the encounters will continue. And for those that are participating with us online, I ask that the encounters will continue, that the encounters will continue in the name of Jesus.